of flying high. So whenever you're flying high, you're going to have some bumpy areas. That's why I want to admonish you to don't give up, but hang in there. Lisa B. And thank you for tuning in today. You are in for a for show treat. I am here sitting with the maestro himself, Mr. Raymond Coase, and we're talking about all things love. Our topic today is healthy love. You know, I, I have been going through this like a cleansing process, I might say. Um, I, you know, I turned into a vegetarian. I've now converted over to a pescatarian because I have to have, I like, I'm having a hard time with the protein and stuff like that. And so I decided to incorporate a little seafood into my diet. And I feel a lot better with that and it's easier for me to maintain. Um, I've talked about that for a while. Then I went into a healthy skin, if you've been following. And, you know, we talked about... Um, you really shouldn't even put on your skin what you can't eat. Did you know that? No, I'm learning something every day. Right. You you know what? If you can't eat it, why put it on your skin? So that cocoa butter comes in real good. I don't even buy cocoa butter. I just go to the store and buy some coconut oil that you cook with or some mm -hmm. olive oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and get out the bathtub, put a little bit on my washcloth, put it on my skin, and call it a day. Mm -hmm. If I can eat it, it must be good. It's organic. It's cold-pressed, and it's going to work. <laughs> 
So we talked about that. And guess what we're talking about today? We're talking about healthy love. You know, you, you have to be healthy in your love life. That's right. You have, to be healthy, you have to be healthy in your love life. And our subtopic today is going to be when a man loves a woman. And the reason we're going to be treated today is because this man, Mr. Raymond Coates, writes some of the most remarkable love ballads that I've heard. Thank you. They're, they're beautiful. Thank they're you. divine. That. And they're straight from the throne of God. That. I believe God not only gives songs and hymns, but he gives love music. I believe yes, that. Yes, he does. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I believe that. It's all through the book of Proverbs. But look. You know, oh, yeah. Love is a wonderful topic. With love. God. He is love. He, absolutely. Any music that he gives is going to be love. Anything that he gives at mm -hmm. all is about love. That's right. So you know what? We have to learn how to be healthy in our love. And you know, we're not talking about a friendship type of love today, but we're talking about the Eros love. Catch that, you know, the little Cupid thing with the arrow, you know, all of that divineness. When you're all when your heart is fluttering and you see the person you love and you just break out into a sweat. That love, you know what I'm talking about, you know. We, we have, you know, people need education on this thing. I'm going to tell you something I found out. Uh-huh. The 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 act of learning how to date somebody and court somebody, that thing is dead and washed away. Mm. Mm. Not for our generation, but for some of them. Let me right. go on the cell with that. They never learned. Without a doubt. They never learned how to date. That's right. And what healthy love looked like is they've seen so much dysfunction in in television and their elders' relationships, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that there's not drama in everything, but let me tell you right. what God says about love before we break this okay. thing down. Can I do that? Oh, yeah. And 1 Corinthians 13, 4 and 8. Starting with number, I'm reading out the New International, because I want to make it, some people can't, are not spiritually discerned, mm -hmm. so they can't get the thuses and all of that. Right. I want to make sure this thing is real plain for you. And this is what it says. It says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. That's right. That's a good right there. Always protect. Always. Always protect. I got your back. Oh, ain't that song? Mm -hmm. See his queen is sitting That's right over there. He said, I right got now. your back. <laughs> Look, always hopes, always preserve, pre preserves. Mm -hmm. That's something you don't think about when you think about love. It's, it's Longevity. A yes, a preserve. <laughs> you gotta have a preservative when gotta you're working with love. You know, you know what the preservative it. is? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the preservative. It, you get this, and this is the end part That's that, right. that people need to get right here. Catch hold to this. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Mm -hmm. You understand? Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Mm -hmm. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. But it says love will endure forever. forever. That's right. It, that it, it always wins. Love is always, because it's never in a battle. See, love is never in a battle. Love always wins because it comes in with the attitude of I am. You know, like God told Moses, right. who, who shall I say sent me? He said, tell him I am, that I am. I always, that's how love is. It just never, it never loses because it never has a battle. It's mm -hmm. not fighting. Love doesn't have no. to fight with itself. That's right. Oh, you know what? I just got a revelation. I just got a download when you uh -oh. said that. Let me tell you. The word of God said the two shall become one, right? Mm hmm So when they fight, mm -hmm. it's a, it's, it's, they were never one. Never because one. love don't fight with itself. Let me tell you what happened to me growing They're becoming up. one, but they ain't there yet. Because right. love don't fight with itself. Well, you, you oh. talk about what love looks like. Right. My, my, my sibling's number 17. How many siblings you got? Seventeen. Seventeen. One seven. Same mother and father. 
that, that's love. One seven. And what I used to see was the beginning mm -hmm. of of a of an argument uh -huh. between my mom and dad. Right. You know, because of course we had only one TV set. Uh -huh. But what my dad used to do was before it even got into that, he would clap on the thigh. Uh -huh. And he would say, Grady, let's go in the bedroom and talk about this. Who was Grady? My mother. Oh, okay. His wife. <laughs> And they go I thought you meant he, he clapped on his own thigh. No, so I'm like, I didn't want to clap you okay. on your thigh. Okay, that's it right there. <laughs> yeah. And, and all and things that's get what, an understanding. That's what, that's what love looked like, was the understanding of, you know, first of all, we don't need to argue in front of these children. Right. They don't need to see that. Right. You know, mm -hmm. but what they need to see is another brother or another sister. Mm -hmm. And the only way we can do that is if we're not arguing. Mm -hmm. And so I never really saw them arguing, fussing, fighting, wow. anything. So that's what love looks like. But that was the mm -hmm. preservative. They knew, you know, as many times as I had read that scripture, mm -hmm. I overlooked that word until today, preservative. The preservative? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I overlooked preservative. It didn't mean anything to me. It means something uh, to me today. Right, right. Wow! So they knew, they, they they had they had the, they had the wisdom mm -hmm. to know you know what before it goes on um, before right. it goes any further we just gonna cut this thing off right here and you know what that's how you preserve it even in your Let's dating process that's right. process that's right you know what in, in the dating process you know what you know what my grandmother told me one time and this is the guy's honest truth. She said, when you're dating somebody, it's the best you're going to get at that time. She said, because once you go into the marriage, mm -hmm. it's a lifetime commitment. So mm -hmm. when you're dating someone, they're showing you. Like the peacock shows all his feathers mm -hmm. before he, when he's trying to prove <laughs> who he is. You right. know the male peacock. You know the woman don't have all the colors. That's it's right. the male peacock that's, that, right. that's, that's in the fullness. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they're, they're showing all he throws out all his cards on the table and mm -hmm. says, "This is what I have." Right. <laughs> you know the whole spectrum of stuff, and so she's just saying, when you're dating, you see the whole spectrum of stuff. So why do you think that a lot of people don't look for? I, am I wording this right? Okay. Why is it that people are so quick to jump in before they see the spectrum? They don't get a chance to see all the feathers. You know, the word that keeps popping in my mind as I listen to you talk uh -huh. is listen. It's listen. Uh huh. When you, when you get an opportunity to hear something from somebody, are you listening? Are you it, listening? Are, are you listening? Uh, Hold that thought. When we come back, we're going to talk about... Do you have ears to hear? Oh, you, go. you gotta have ears you to go. hear. You, go. you know what? We're gonna come back with lunch with Lisa B. After we come back for the station identification, it's your girl Lisa B. With my special guest Raymond Coates. Do you have ears to hear? We'll be right Thank back. Seven 
over cold Hot aching damn soul Got my keys alive And I'm standing up on this fight All my time, my whole world is for this Cause I'm the rise of the phoenix And here I am Here I am It's your girl Lisa B and we're back with lunch with Lisa B and my special guest Raymond Coates and we're talking about healthy love and when a man loves a woman when we left off we were talking about why do people jump into relationships so fast before they're able to let the other person re totally reveal who they are we we're talking about having ears to hear and uh, on our break, you know, it's a funny thing because um, we were talking about how people don't listen. Mm -hmm. in, the in the dating process, right. you have to be a good listener. I wasn't a good listener when I was younger at all. Oh, my God. Mm. I was just, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and we have to be able to let a person, revelation comes through hearing. That's what the mm -hmm. Word of God says. Don't it say That's that? That's right. And so they go by hearing. Mm hmm So so how can you have faith in anyone if you never hear what they say? And it's real tough because the, the bottom line is is that we are we are creative people anyway. Right. We and and, and, and you're a creative person. Mm -hmm. And when you the, the thing that keeps you from listening to somebody is the creative juices are flowing. So the battle is not between you and that person. The battle is between me and me oh. trying to be quiet right. and calm any kind of creative things that I think I have so that I can listen to what you're saying. Absolutely. And once I win that battle, then I can be still. And you know, and, yeah, go ahead. And learn. And learn. Because mm -hmm. you can't really go into love unless you know the person to some extent know what they're offering, like what you were saying about the peacock, mm -hmm. know what they're offering first, and then you can decide if that's for you or not on both sides. Right, and I agree with that. And I'm going to tell you something. You can't find that what somebody's offering from them telling you. <laughs> no. Because people will tell you what they want you to hear because they know you have itchy ears to get what they want from you. So what you have to do is with your hearing, you have to have discernment and figure out is what they're saying matching their walk. And there's another thing with that that goes hand in hand with that is that we don't really know ourselves enough. Oh. You know, to be able, if I genuinely and sincerely want to tell you about myself, I got to know about myself. Yeah, you know what, that's a good point because you know what I'm telling you, and even those who, well maybe they don't know their self, they're, they're in denial, but some people are very, very much in denial about who they generally are. And then when the other person expresses to them what they see, they can't accept and, and instead of saying, well, maybe that might be true, you know, let me go back and reflect on it a little bit. Am I having these same behaviors right. in all of my relationships? Because some people be saying, you know, let me tell you, I had Patrick Weaver gave a good analogy one time, and this is mm -hmm. what he said. He said, if you're attracting dogs all the time, well, mm -hmm. like things attract like things. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> you you understand yeah. what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, 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 and 
the, you can't attract what you, there has to be something in you that craves that behavior mm -hmm. for you to go and keep getting that same thing over and over and you know you don't like it. That's like me saying the stove is hot. Right. But I'm, I'm not going to put my glove, my hand into the pot holder before right. I pick up the pot. I'm just going to keep picking up the pot right. and when keep burning hot. my hand and putting salve on it and waiting for it to heal until it heal up for me to pick up another pot. Well, you know, if there's, <laughs> any, if there's any musicians out there yeah. that are watching, you know, we, we can relate to what she's saying because we, we, we want to put our music out there, but when you do, you're going to get critics. Uh -huh. Well, the, the, the kind of critics, there are two different kinds. There's one that criticize out of jealousy it, because you can tell that kind because they don't have anything oh. constructive to put in its place. In other words, they say, well, Raymond, you, you sing too loud. Well, they don't have anything to say like, well, let me help you show you how to sing it a little different way. Well, right. that's constructive criticism. Right. So, but when whenever you put something out, you have to be ready for criticism. So it's like when you put something out about yourself right. to somebody and they give it back to you, you got to know yourself enough to say, you know what, maybe that is me. And maybe I do need to learn something here. So then you start, the love starts growing because the other person says, well, you know what, they heard me. They heard what I said. So maybe they'll hear something else. And that's a preservative, too. That's what I'm talking about, preservative. There's all type of preservatives. When you said ears to hear. Right, right, it's right. It's preservative in and of itself. And, and let me ask you something, because I know you write these love ballads. How, how do you get that? How do you get that inspiration for all that love? Well, we get help. Uh -huh. We can help because it's not always what's coming from within me or mm -hmm. any writer. It's, uh -huh. it's not always that. It's like the, the team of people that you're around uh -huh. feed things to your creative powers. Mm -hmm. They feed things like somebody that you're around might say, well, you know what? Uh, I hear what you're trying to say. Let's see if we can say it in a story. Or okay. like a nursery rhyme. So you so, so you collaborate. Collaborate. That's where you get the creativity from, is the collaboration. And it's like that in daily relationships. Uh -huh. Like Barry White used to say, he never wrote anything about his wife, Claudine. He didn't he it wasn't about him and her. Right. But I'm happy but, you said but that. she gave him something. Right, right, to, right. And it was, it was just a spark. It's just a spark. But you put it down right then. You see, and then it comes back to you when you when you when you collaborate with somebody. You know, I'm happy you said that because I write about relationships too. Mm -hmm. All through my books are because I write urban Christian fiction, so everything I write is about. Real and the first thing people ask me is, "Girl, you did you really do that?" And I'm like, uh -huh. "What are you talking about?" <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Did, what did I do? And I'm like, you know, that wasn't me. Help me. <laughs> right. You know, this, this is some fiction here. You know what I'm saying? Look, there was a couple. And I feel bad because my next story is about the prostitute. That <laughs> <laughs> was that you. Okay, I'm there. Look. <laughs> but there was a, I was, I was in my window. Uh-huh. Often. Because uh -huh. at home, you know, I'm in the window. Well, there was this couple across the street. Uh -huh. They used to fuss and argue all the time. But this one day, the sun was shining, and the children were outside playing, and she was looking out the window, and here he comes out the door with a 40. <laughs> and, and she don't want to keep him. She don't want him to drive. Right, drunk. with the 40. So insane. she come running out. And she sees me in the window, and she says, Raymond, help. And I'm like, before I run over there, I want to know what I'm getting into. Right. So I want to see if he's hitting or anything. Well, he wasn't hitting. He was just trying to get the keys from her. She was trying to get the keys. So, <laughs> and it started raining. Uh -huh. It started, clouds came and started raining. The kids went inside. So from that, I wrote a song called Every Time She Cries. Oh. The rain. The experience. Comes tumbling down. And, wow. and and people was listening to that song. It was like, 
you was really going through that? Making that woman cry like that? It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get was, it straight. Yeah, that wasn't me. So it's all, all a life right. is a collaboration. But the thing is, like you said earlier, having the ears mm -hmm. to hear, we need to be able to listen to everything around us and everyone. In every situation, they all have some, something to say to us. You know, you know, everybody brings something to the table. Everybody, don't matter who. If they're created mm -hmm. and they're on this earth, if they're five months old, they bring something to, something the, table. to the table. Nobody is void of a gift. That's right. That's and right. that's not But bad. the issue is, is, again, is ears to hear. Ears to hear. Now mm -hmm. let me tell you something. With those ears to hear, you gotta have eyes to see. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm for real. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because some people, some people are here, but they can't see. They blind. Oh boy. And you know what? Being blind in a relationship is the most unhealthy thing that can happen. To see it but not see it, yeah. to hear it but not hear it. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's all, all the, all the cards are on the table. The peacock is in full spectrum, whether it's male or woman, whatever's going mm -hmm. on. But when you hear it and see it, but you don't hear it and you don't see it, for whatever reason, it's just not healthy. That's, you know what? One of the one of the songwriters, I think it was. Uh, Johnny Taylor, who said, I feel sorry. And he said, for anybody that don't have somebody that they can call their own. Right. And if you think that you have somebody you can call your own and they're not your own, oh. you blind, you haven't been hearing, uh -huh. that's one of the most miserable states to be in. That's one of the most terrible places that you could be to be blind. Somebody try to tell you something. Somebody try to show you something. Mm -hmm. And you're not seeing it. And help you can't me. see it. Help, help and, me. And, 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 and you know what that is? That's deception. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Sometime, you know what? Sometime manipulative love does that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Manipulative, right. the manipulative love does that. Right. When it gets yeah. to the part, and you know, do you know, you know what I found out, Mr. Coates? Tell you, me. You can manipulate yourself. <laughs> That's the worst kind. I'm serious. That's when you deceive mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. you could deceive yourself in love, mm -hmm. because some people show you completely who they are, but you want a a a, a feeling of something so bad that you'll take it. Well, it goes back to what you were saying earlier about that the, you're attracting dogs uh -huh. and, and you don't want to be around dogs. At least that's what you say. Right. But you must be putting something out there. An aroma. To, to attract. The pheromone. Yeah, the fe <laughs> the pheromone. <laughs> the word of God speak about a, a, a fragrance. Well, there was a, there was a mailman <laughs> that it does. Wait a minute, you know what? We're gonna talk about the fragrance, <laughs> the the hormone thing. <laughs> Stay tuned to lunch with Lisa B, my special guest, <laughs> Mr. Raymond Coates. I feel honored. Mm -hmm. Tune in. We're going back for station identification. I've been overcome by the blood of the lamb. I've been bought by the blood of the lamb. My sins don't wash away by the blood of the lamb. I got the victory because the blood of the lamb, y'all. I'm an overcomer by the blood of the lamb. I've been bought by the blood of the lamb. My sins don't wash away by the blood of the lamb. I got the victory because the blood of the lamb, y'all. Wake up this morning now, soldier. Believe what it says. You an 
overcomers We trapping over serpents and scorpions Casting out devils, witches and warlocks Exposing the lies of the enemy Making hits like this so you can be free You ain't gotta settle, uh-uh, I know for less Open up your eyes and know your God's best This is your encouragement right now You've been kicked, you ain't got to stay down Put on your shield of faith, oh yes, believe You an overcomer and you got the victory The word of God been planted in your spirit Activate your faith and just live it It will give you strength to make it through And kill every tongue that rolls up against you I'm an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb I've been bought by the blood of the Lamb My sins are washed away by the blood of the Lamb I got the victory cause the blood of the Lamb, y'all I'm an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb I've been bought by the blood of the Lamb My sins are washed away by the blood of the Lamb the victory, cause the blood of the lamb, y'all By the power invested in me I open up my mouth and take authority And denounce every lie that the devil came and told me I'm more than a conqueror in Jesus Christ I ain't on the market, I've been bought with a price This is a war cry And we calling all the soldiers to the front line Ay. Do what you know to do You've been chosen, called out So he's gonna see you through, y'all You don't need to be redeemed You were already bought by God Through the blood of Jesus We marching right and left, right and left We on the battlefield We doing what's best, y'all We gon' get them, y'all We taking back the souls That the devil thought he's coming, y'all I'm coming by the blood of the Lamb I've been bought by the blood of the Lamb my sins are washed away by the blood of the Lamb I got the victory cause the blood of the Lamb, y'all I'm an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb I've been bought by the blood of the Lamb My sins are washed away by the blood of the Lamb I got the victory cause the blood of the Lamb, y'all Tell was a gangster, but I was called up and I'm ready to roll I'm about to yeah. enter this battle to try to save your soul I gotta reach out and touch ya And tell you God loves ya Come up under my wings, all my sisters and brothers To my sons and daughters, all the mothers and fathers We're anointed with God's love and the devil can't harm us I was down in the dumps, man, just living in sin and it broke me down on my knees So I had to put it in God's hands He delivered my soul from the depths of hell Cause my spirit from drug dealing, killing and in jail Now my mind is set free, I'm raising my family I'm calling out all saints, come ride with me Let's go. On our way to the promised land, we're battle with evil The devil is full of lies and he try to deceive you Just keep your focus on God's word and nothing can beat you I've been bought with the blood of the lamb, please believe me I've been overcoming by the blood of the lamb I've been bought by the blood of the lamb My sins don't wash away by the blood of the lamb I got the victory cause the blood of the lamb y'all I'm an overcomer by the blood of the lamb I've been bought by the blood of the lamb My sins don't wash away by the blood of the lamb I got the victory cause the blood of the lamb y'all Hey, 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 hey Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, you ain't got nothing to fear. Come on now. You ain't, you ain't got nothing to fear. Come on now. God is on our side. Yes, he is on our side. Right. We ain't got nothing to fear. Come on now. You ain't, you ain't got nothing to fear. Come on now. You ain't, you ain't got nothing to fear. Come on now. God is on our side. On our side. On our side. On our side. And we got nothing to fear. Come on now. Welcome back to Lunch with Lisa B. It's your girl Lisa B. And I'm sitting here with Mr. Raymond Coates. And we've been chopping it up. And we're talking about healthy love. And we're talking about when a man loves a woman. Because let me tell you something. 
This man is the man of love. He writes all the beautiful love ballads and everything you got to hear. We're going to talk about his music and his CD in the last 15 minutes of the show because if we didn't go into it, you'd be surely missing a treat. But when we left off, we were talking about the hormones. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. You see this word of God right here? When the hormones kick in, it's surely a fight. That's right. And you know what? You have to tell the truth where the truth is. That's right. Because it's real. That's right. It's real. When you get with that special person that you know God has made you to be with, or when you're dating someone that you truly love, or unless you think you love them, or whatever it is that's going on, or you're finding out about them, you know what? Those hormones, they kick in. Mm-hmm. Don't they? Yep. They kick yep. in and you, you lose control over your flesh and you have all these thoughts and all that kind of stuff. Now let me tell you, Ash, mm. what is that battle truly about? What is that battle about? Uh -huh. You know, you have a, a way of putting things that uh, is amazing to me because the, the issue is, is that it's like Usain Bolt mm -hmm. in the hundred yard dash. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got there because he went through a lot of things. Right. And, and so he has the right to be on that track. Right. But here I come. I haven't gone through anything. Uh -huh. And I get out there on that track and I'm just as fast as he is. Uh -huh. And I run and I beat him. Uh -huh. Who's going to get the prize? Me or him? Yeah, if you beat you know, him, you're going to get the prize. I'm not going to get the prize because I didn't do it legally. See, the, the question that I'm asking oh, that's a good is the, the, the battle. Okay. The, the battle All between right. the hormones and the word uh -huh. or between the hormones and true love uh -huh. is that there's a, there's a context in which everything needs to be kept. Uh -huh. You know, outside of the context, uh -huh. it's no good. It's not. It, it, it's no it's, good. It's it, no it, good. You can take things out of context. with well, the political, we don't even talk about political politics, but you take things out of context to fit what you want it to fit. And that's what you do with hormones. You can take them out of context to make them fit what you think is they the do love. It, all, it happens every day. Happens all of the time. Happens all the time. But what you said, husband, wife. Right. What you said in the proper context. You can let them hormone rage, girl. Yeah, you know, you can. You can. Them, yeah, within that You can concept. if you crucify your flesh. Yeah. And, 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 and that's the part that people always forget in the process of figuring out if they truly love somebody. And the reason this is important is because once the two become one and you give your body to somebody, after that, it's hard to think. It's hard to, you know what, it's hard to think. I'm going to tell you something. After that, you're so emotionally mm -hmm. tied up that all you want is that emotion, no feeling of love, belonging, kissing, sexing, wanting to be held, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Wanting to be together, that it surpassed all those things that you saw on the peacock feather, mm -hmm. all the things that you heard, all the things that you said. Once you catch that good feeling, it sometimes just becomes a wrap. We'll That's see. why you have to not be so quick to jump into that arena. And not, now as a minister, I'm going to tell you, ab abstinence, abstinence, abstinence is, th is actually the key. I have to say it. Because for our younger listeners, I have people who listening who are like 15 or 16 years old who actually do watch my show. Mm -hmm. You know what? Learn, have, just have fun dating. That's possible. They have to. That's possible. They have to because mm -hmm. guess what? People <clears throat> are having sex right now and a baby is not the worst thing that can happen to you. You can die. Be careful. You can die. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? They have, they have, um, 
You know, your hormones could take you to a place of no recovery. Can I say that? That's why it's so important to trust who you're around. You have to. You have to be able to trust. You have to be able to trust. And I'm a, you know, I, I, I'm a minister, but I'm going to say it. And if you're sexually active and your flesh is out of control, please wrap it up. Please be having at you're least. the nail on the head right now. You got to be safe. You got to be safe because you still might want to be able to catch a husband or a wife down the road or something, and you don't want to be ruined. Am I right? It's so easy. What, it's you so can easy. have sex you're one right. time, lose you're your right. virginity. You're right. It doesn't mean you're a harlot. Right. But it can happen. And then guess what? You get ready to meet somebody down the road, and if you have herpes, mm -hmm. or, your, or gonorrhea has taken out your tubes where you can't have children anymore, and then you find somebody who wants to have children, or you, you've had so many pelvic uh, uh, things go on to now you can't hold kids. You know what I'm saying? I mean, then what do you do? And it can happen one time. Life is so precious. Life is very precious. That's why I said, you know, this show is so important that we talk about healthy love. Mm -hmm. And being able to have eyes to hear. I, did I say eyes to hear? You said eyes to hear. Oh, boy, you that's real spiritual right there, ain't it? That's a, that's a mutation. <laughs> I mean, ears to hear. <laughs> ears, uh, uh, I mean, ears to hear. Ears to hear. And eyes to see. Thank you, uh, sir. Uh, well, I needed some help. Yeah, well, well, I needed some coaching. <laughs> We're going back for a station identification, and when we come back, you're going to get to hear the talented Mr. Raymond Coates. Stay tuned. It's your girl, Lisa B. Thank you. <laughs> Turbulence is the price you pay for flying high. Turbulence is the price you pay for flying high. So whenever you're flying high, you're going to have some bumpy areas. That's why I want to admonish you to don't give up, but hang in there.
your back's against the wall You gotta hang when it seems my hope is lost See, I'm a witness, he'll hold you up And in the process, he'll fill your cup So I'm not worried, I'm not scared I'm gon' trust like my bishop said It's a message to the devil, you can't have our faith And we gon' make it by Raymond Coe Sr. No, yes. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, my oldest son. Here we go. Ah. Hi, it's your girl Lisa B. And I'm back with Mr. Raymond Coates. And we in for a treat because I'm going to tell you something. I saw the man on YouTube, baby. <laughs> and he was showing out. When I say showing out, you know, we, we, I miss the days where people really had talent, you know what I'm saying, and they could really sing, and you know, they didn't have the tights that was, this man there, they got the, the duck that tight, the woman got the breast up to her chin, and I'm like, Lord, is this talent on what is going on here? But I'm going to tell you something, this man got talent, and we got a CD right here, Raymond Coates Sr., Simply Raymond. Where can people get the, your CD? Well, you can go to cdbaby.com, you can go to Amazon, iTunes, Rhapsody, Spotify, it's on every platform. If you type in Raymond Coates, Simply Raymond, you can get this CD. You can get the CD? Yes. Okay, and um, they can just download it? They can download it. You can buy hard copy from any of those sites. And you're on Amazon. Facebook? Yes, Facebook, uh, Raymond Coates or West Coast Groove Band, you know, uh, any of those. Okay, and so you know what? I'm going to get out the way. And let the man of God do his thing. And he's going to, what are you singing for us today, sir? Mm, what else? But when a man loves a woman. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what else? <laughs> <laughs> when a man loves a woman. It's your girl, Lisa B. And Mr. Raymond Coates is going to go ahead and take us out today. I'm going to get out your way. But before I leave, let me say, I love you big. I love you much. Thank you for tuning in to Lunch with Lisa B. Ray, Raymond, do your thing, sir. When a man loves a woman, can't keep his mind on nothing else. He trades the world for the good thing he's found. If she's bad, he can't see it. She can do no wrong. Turn his back on his best friend if he put her down. When a man loves a woman, she can do no wrong. She can never harm another man. When a man loves a woman, sleep out in the rain. If she says that's the way it ought to be. When a man loves you, woman, I give you everything. Everything I have Trying to hold on To your high class 
love. Baby, baby, don't, please don't treat me bad. When a man loves a woman, she can do no wrong. She can never harm him at all. I'm going with a man that loves a woman. Way down, way down deep in his Well, this man loves you, woman. I give you everything, everything I have. Trying to hold on to your high class love. deep in his soul she can bring him such misery if she's playing him for a fool he's the last one to know loving eyes can never see when a man loves Woman, I tell you, he'll do some things that he thought he'd never do. He'd stay out in the cold, in the rain, in the snow. If she says that's the way it ought to be, so I want to tell you, girls, don't. Don't treat him bad, oh no. And you have the best love you ever had. Just be real and you'll know how love feels. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Cal.